Hello and welcome to Jamaica TV, where we give you all the latest news. Now for the details. Seeking attractive open-minded persons, cops issue job offer warning. Jamaica Constabulary Force Sub-Officer in charge of the Anti-Tip Vice Squad Detective Inspector Kemisha Gordon is appealing to citizens to exercise diligence when pursuing certain advertised job offers. The police said they are aware of persons being victimized of human trafficking locally as a result of taking up some job opportunities. We want to implore persons to follow our ABCs, accept nothing, believe nothing and check everything. And if you're still uncertain, double check. A lot of what is advertised with these job offerings is questionable. And if you look a little deeper, you will see that there's something wrong with these offers. So be diligent and verify, she said. Inspector Gordon shared the profile of advertised jobs that have proven to be most problematic. The ones that are of concern primarily are those that are offered a misuse job opportunity at a location that is not disclosed or instruct persons to call a number and then meet at a suspicious location. The wording is usually looking for persons who are attractive and open-minded. Those are the ones primarily that are worrisome, she informed. Inspector Gordon urged Jamaicans to be cautious and aware about their security when pursuing those advertised opportunities. If you're looking for a job, scrutinize every requirement in the job offer that you see. Those that require you to be open-minded and attractive or the types of requirements that jump out to our unit, she added. Inspector Gordon said the unit has embarked on several initiatives, including discussion with critical stakeholders to combat human trafficking via questionable job offers. We are open that we can buy in from the media, specifically print media, for a screening of the advertisements that are placed within their newspapers as that is an important place to start. There are other activities that the police have embarked on and we're hoping to see some results soon, she indicates. Tropical Storm Larry expected to become season's next hurricane soon by Thursday. Tropical Storm Larry continues to gain strength with winds now up to 50 miles per hour. The forecast calls for Larry to become a Category 3 hurricane with winds reaching 120 miles per hour within 72 hours, according to the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Stephanie Gregg, a popular social figure and the 26-year-old daughter of motor car driver Gary Gregg, has died of COVID-19 complications. Gregg, affectionately known as Steffi, died in Miami on Tuesday. She was a popular social figure in Jamaica and a number of local entertainment personalities has sent condolences, including music industry insider Ramesh Major, dancer DJ Ravers, producer Russian, popcorn and social media personality Prince Pine. Greg reportedly had underlying health issues and suffered from an autoimmune disorder and developed complications after contracting COVID-19. She was airlifted to Miami this week, but died on Tuesday. 20-year-old Mark Easy of Bustamante Highway in Clarendon has been charged with robbery with aggravation following a recent incident on Paisley Avenue in the parish. Reports from the Maypen police are that about 10 a.m., the complainant, a taxi operator, was at a taxi stand when four persons, three men and a woman, boarded his vehicle. Along the journey, the men reportedly forced the female from the motor vehicle and then placed a gun at the now complainant's head. It is alleged that Easy then took control of the vehicle, but while traveling along Paisley Avenue, there was a tussle between the taxi operator and the robbers, resulting in the vehicle crashing into a building. The now complainant managed to escape from his assailants and reported the matter to the police. Easy was found unconscious inside the motor vehicle by citizens of the community who took him to the hospital. He was placed on a police guard and later charged after being pointed out as one of the alleged robbers. His court date has not yet been finalized by the police. The search for the other men continues, the police advised. A month-long investigation into robbery in Little London, Westmoreland on Sunday, March 28, has resulted in the arrest and charge of a man in relation to the incident. He is 24-year-old Stephon Jones of Darlingston in the parish. Reports from the Little London Police are that about 11.30 a.m. on March 28, the now complainant was about to enter an ATM in Little London when a Toyota Oxymotor car was driven up to the location. A man allegedly exited the motor vehicle and brandished a firearm and demanded that the now complainant handed over his debit card and PID number, which the complainant did. The man then escaped. 
The incident was reported to the police and investigations revealed that $100,000 was subsequently withdrawn from the complainant's account. Jones was later identified as a suspect and was apprehended by the police on August 26. He was charged on August 29 after being pointed out on an identification parade. His court date is being finalized by the police.